Hello everyone, my name's Bob Mitch and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. Today I'm just going to waffle on a bit about a few things that have been updated recently. Uh, most importantly of course is that we've had the concept of the RSI Apollo released and this is more going to be sort of my opinion piece on it because we have some limited information. It's still a concept obviously, we aren't going to see it for a long time. But it looks like a cool little boat. Um, it's for medical gameplay, which is something which, let's be honest, hasn't really been explored much in space games. Normally, you know, you just go and grab a first aid kit and off you go, you're good to go again, like some miraculous, you know, medipen that we use, like we use now in Star Citizen, you know, you just stick it into your leg or your arm and you're fine. It heals all injuries, whether you've broken bones or you've lost 90% of the blood that's in your body. You just perk it in your leg and off you go. Uh, the Apollo is a mm, sort of mid-range medical ship. It looks like someone shaved a Terrapin's engines off and then welded the rear end of a Connie to it. It looks very cool. Um, you can obviously see the design cues from the Constellation. It has the engine pods at the back and it's got the same kind of cockpit that looks like a mishmash between the Andromeda and the Aquila. And it's got the uh, the crew lift underneath, which is the little circular lift that you normally find your way in. Um, it's kind of the the middle of the pack. Apparently, the uh, the Cutlass Red is your kind of ambulancey kind of vehicle that you rush to the scene with and perform first triage. The Apollo is acting as sort of like a movable medical clinic because it has wards. We'll we'll get to that in a moment. And then you've got the Endeavour, of course, which you can basically turn into a moving hospital if you fit it out with those modules. So the Apollo comes with medical bays and I'll put the image up of the sort of the blueprint that was on the uh, RSI show not long ago. So you've got the main ramp in the back there and you've got the crew lift for everyone to get in. You've got crew quarters all at the front. The crew were kind of jam-packed into the front of it. Apparently this thing can be manned by two people which is quite strange because, as you can see, it has a reception, which I thought was quite a fun and strange little concept for a ship like this. You don't normally have a reception within a spaceship. So I actually work in a hospital as my real job, and it just seems a bit strange. You know, you're not going to have a receptionist or a ward clerk come and escort you to your patient. I thought that was quite a funny little thing. Um, it has the airlocks. It says spare suits there, so I assume there's going to be, you know, EVA suits, maybe they're biohazard suits, depends on what um, your patient's ailments may be, you know, are they going to be contagious? I made a comparison on the Sync Discord with the, um, the Sisters of Eve ships from EVE Online, and that is that they, in their ships, they have special ward rooms, obviously you can't walk around in those, but it's just in the, the lore of the ships that they have um, medical bays that line sort of the outer hull that are protected and sort of isolated. And if something is contagious or there's an outbreak of something on the ship, they can just vent those compartments into space, which is kind of, you know, hit and miss. is a bit evil, but at the same time, it could be warranted depending on what's going on. And I, I found it quite amusing to see if uh, CIG and RSI were going to do the same with thing with their ship, but it doesn't look like that's the case. So that's something. So yeah, it's got two modular med bays that apparently you can change out and there are going to be various tiers of them and can fit six patients as you can see. And it is manned only by a size two turret. Um, the two variants of the ships that you can see are the, the normal red one and then you've got a sort of limited edition white one which you can unlock by playing a game, although I think that's finished today. Um, both of the ships come with size two turret on top uh, the red one has laser weapons and the white one has ballistic weapons. The white one has more armor and is a bit tankier, but it's a bit slow as a result. It also has missiles. So medical play then, sort of, or medical gameplay rather, is quite an interesting one, isn't it? So like I said before, normally you can just have something like a medipen or a first aid kit that your character can rub themselves with or stick into their leg and then they're fine again. But in Star Citizen, they obviously want some kind of medical gameplay. At the minute, we don't know if this involves NPCs that maybe you have to go and rescue from a, a crash site, which will be quite fun. But how is it going to affect the player? You know, are you... Like now, you can 
just use a medipen in the alpha and stick it in your leg and off you go. But say if you have a fall in the playable universe come the alpha further down the line or the beta and you break your leg, does that mean you have to spend a certain amount of time recovering inside one of these kind of ships, you know, or does it put you out of commission for a little while, which could be frustrating for a lot of people, but I suppose it's a bit more immersive, so it's going to be fun to see where they kind of bring this angle from. Um, we also have medical drones, so this thing can spurt out um, little frames that I assume pick people up inside a little force field and they can scoot back inside and they can bring the casualties on board which sounds like a cool thing. I haven't seen or heard anything about how you control them yet, I would assume it's done from the bridge but we'll see. So yeah, the RSI Apollo, it's a bit of a strange one. I like the look of it and I am looking forward to seeing what the gameplay is like but it's, I don't know, it's, it's, I'm so I'm confused by it. Confused and excited because I want to see what it brings to the table. Um, it sounds like quite an exciting ship to own. I'm not really tempted by it at the minute. You know, I tend to hold my reservation for ships until I can have a play with them on the PTU, which is what I'm planning to do with the Constellation uh, Phoenix going forward for 3.3. So we shall see. Talking about the PTU, we have another picture of the PTU tonight. Um, another patch was on, and the footage that you've been seeing behind is the attempts of me trying to shove a cyclone into my 600i, which still doesn't work. Please, CIG, please fix it. It just phases through the floor, and it's really annoying. Um, their focus at the minute is obviously the turret gameplay, so they're trying to make the turrets work properly. If you've logged on recently and you've had a look, you can change the fire modes now so the turrets all fire as one big blaster, or you can change it so that the guns kind of alternate and fire in a pattern. It's quite cool. So they, they've worked on that, and they've worked on how the turrets move so it's not so janky and it's a lot smoother and it's more in tune with the ESP. It's quite a strange patch, this one, because they held on to it for quite a while, so it's I don't know if they've been making a lot of changes and they've been doing things under the radar, but no current date as yet for a live version, as we were hoping for. So we shall see. Thank you for listening to me ramble, everyone. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to cover or any kind of guides, I did the mining thing the other day and that was quite fun. I've been having a little test with more of that. Then please let me know. Please like and subscribe if you find the content interesting or you've got some opinions. And again, please let me know. And I will see you next time. <laughs>